I want some more. What? The heads of the big three on Capitol Hill with their hat in hand. Bail out in overdrive. We're really trying to talk about why it makes sense to do what we're asking. Is there a plan B? We want to focus on plan A. There is no plan B. Ford's plan is kind of life is wonderful. Chrysler, you want to hang along so that you can date somebody and hopefully uh, get married soon before you run out, of, run out of money. We are trying to be responsive. I'm proud to say that uh, I drove a hybrid here from Detroit. You all made buses at one point, didn't you? Any just thoughts just about just getting sold. back into that? You had given about a 50 cent haircut to bondholders. Bondholders are not willing to take a haircut unless he takes what I would call a real haircut. I don't wake up every morning thinking about how to sell the company. We're busting our guts. They're even talking about oh, evicting no. him now. No one is immune from this economy, <laughs> it seems. True. Yes, things are bad, but we may not be in what's called Armageddon. If some of these Wall Street executives or these uh, auto industry executives had spent more time napping, they might have made better judgments. My concern with such an approach is that it plays Russian roulette with the entire economy of the United States. The market uh, not being down so much was really the story of the day. Now, though, literally just since the top of your program, we really have dropped rather sharply. Oh, no, Aaron, oh, no. you had to bring that up. <laughs> I'm really sorry Thanks. about that, Nora. Who pays for this stuff? Somebody's got to bail out the bailout tour. You're putting the taxpayers on the hook a long time, aren't you? No matter uh, what. No matter what. No. They'll certainly be back. Well, that's a high probability. And $34 billion, probably just the beginning. That's a high probability. I ask whether this was the end or was it just the beginning? We now have an answer. The big three need to grow up and catch up.